And welcome back to Power Hits 101. It is that dude, yo dude, yo man, Stan. And guess what? My special guest, my special co-host is here. Everybody say hello to Mel Betta. <laughs> How you good doing, Mel Betta? Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Just fine. You know, me, me and Mel Better, you know, we're friends. We debate a lot and everything. You know, by the way, sometimes I might find myself calling herself Jamel, the famous Jamel. But anyway, <laughs> but it's Mel Better, you know, for this segment, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so uh, it's time for our two of a kind special now. So on two of a kind, what we do, Mel Better, is we talk about things that are alike. And I have three different topics that I want you to speak your mind on in terms of what you think you like better. I might, I'm, a, I'll, I'm gonna say something, and you'll be like, "Oh hell no!" Or you might be like, "Yeah, I agree." You know. So, all right. So here we go. Right. So first, uh, first topic on two of a kind, and this is a very, very simple one. Which do you prefer to write with, a pen or a pencil? Okay, I prefer a pencil and a certain pencil the ticonderoga number two pencil oh in God. black i love it it writes nice and smooth if i have to erase if i have to cross out it doesn't smudge the way pens will smudge so i say a pencil you know what? I, i'm glad you said pencil because i disagree with you <laughs> of course of course you do <laughs> i don't know why people like to write with a stupid pencil okay Oh my gosh. <laughs> one reason I hate mathematics is because you always got to write with that stupid number two pencil. Here comes number Miss two. Charlotte or whatever. Kids, do you have your pencils? Oh, I hate those pencils. <laughs> All right. So, because think about it. Okay. When you're writing with a pen, look how smooth it looks. That nice crisp blue, that nice crisp black, even purple people write in nowadays now. But a pencil is like, I just hate pencils. You know, you I know you could erase things. That's the only mm. advantages of a pencil is that you could erase things. But think about it. People don't sign contracts in pencil, you know, because, of course, you could just erase it. But pencil, that's an ugly way to write if you write with a pencil. Oh, my God. Well, it depends, of course, on what you're writing. I'm not going to sign a contract with a pencil. I'm going to use a blue ink pen, of course. But, I mean, just okay, so, every day okay, so writing you... notes. Okay, so when you're making your grocery list and you don't type it in your phone, I know people do that these days, but you prefer to write your grocery list in, a, in pencil? Um, when I write one, yeah. So actually, whatever is nearest to me. <laughs> but um, as far as work, see, I'm an accountant. So with work, I work with numbers. So it's always going to be a pencil. Not a mechanical pencil. It needs to be a regular number two pencil. Those mechanical pencils, I write too hard, and that keeps popping off, and that drives me crazy. And, and see, that's another, but, um, thing. that's another thing. Whether it's a number two pencil or a mechanical pencil, as you mentioned, they break a lot. You got to think about it. You do. always got to keep a pencil sharpener with you if you're writing in pencil. Stupid idea. <laughs> but if you have a pen, the ink will spill out. That means your bag, your purse is ruined. That's the worst thing to have ink inside of your purse. That's so don't you don't carry a purse. Exactly. But <laughs> <laughs> for those of us who do carry a pocketbook, mm -hmm. we don't want to have pen marks inside well, of and, and I will give you that because I did have a pen one time leaking in my pocket when I kept it in my pocket. But assuming that it doesn't do that, I just prefer to write in pen than in pencil. But of course, we're going to agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> and, get, right. and we'll get to the next topic. So, uh, okay, so Mel Better, uh, which do you prefer, a paper or a plastic grocery bag? You know, because you know the paper one came out first, and then now we got the nice little plastic ones that you see at Walmart. I think Walmart one is blue and white, and other stores got different colors, of course. Do you have a preference out of the two? I do, and it's not listed. Reusable. Reusable? But if I don't, yes, you know the bags you carry that you purchase for 99 cents and you can use them over and over again? Mm -hmm. I prefer that to save the planet, but if I don't use that, I like paper bags. Okay, so why would you use a reusable bag when sometimes you might forget it when you go to the grocery store? And, I, and well, don't tell me you keep it in your car, because I bet you don't. <laughs> I don't, I end up buying more. So that's the bad part. See, I end see. up 
constantly rebuying them. Y'all see, I'm but winning when already, I remember, right? yeah. <laughs> but when I remember, I will uh, keep it in my car. Wow. But you know, I, yeah. well, I'm gonna tell you, I I went back and forth on the on the two that I have on this list out of paper and plastic. I like the sound of a paper bag, like. Like okay. you know, you notice when you're watching a movie and people are bringing in groceries and they putting it on the counter. It's just that really good sound from a paper bag. That really sounds like you making groceries. You know what I mean? But I do admit, <laughs> my preference is the plastic bag, and I think it's because you could get so much in it. You could carry a bunch of them at the same time. I love it where you could have like ten of them in your hand at the same time. And okay. I know, and yeah. I know so that, you're that person. So yeah. you're that person that. One trip in the house, you're gonna get every bag <laughs> and carry say? them all in at once. Say that again. You're you're that person that needs to get if you have 17 bags, you're trying to get all 17 bags mm -hmm. from your car to the house on one trip. Yeah, that's you. Mm -hmm. That's me. <laughs> all right, that's me. But they don't make they don't make plastic bags the way they used to. The plastic bags are so thin. When you buy if you buy two different things, drink. They try to put them both in the same bag and they end up ripping. I'm like, come on. Well, yeah, it's they just, do. It's not. I do admit they rip and everything. And people say plastic is not good for the environment and everything. But uh, and, and don't get me wrong. If, if I have like 20 bags and I see that, you know, they're pretty heavy at 12, I'll just bring 12 and I'll just make two trips. But I just love it to where you could bring so many in in the house at the same time. And of course, one of the greatest things about this invention is that you could use it for something else besides groceries. You could, you know, when you finish, you could use it as the little liner for your trash can, you know, stuff like that. This so, is true. so I like, this I like, that. I like that about those. So may, uh, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Do you have a bag or a drawer in your kitchen full of bags and are they balled up or do you fold them? There, I actually do have something in there. Uh, what happened, this lady I know, she came and cleaned my pantry for me a few years ago. I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like cleaning my pantry, and she told me she you know, does stuff like that. So she, she had a really good idea. She brought in shelves and all those things. And she put these little bags in. They're like little knit bags or something. And she said you could put the bags in there, and I like that. Now, now I don't fold them. I admit I just ball them up. Nobody could see them. The only time you could see them is if you actually open my pantry door. That's the only time you could see them. But, but I like that, what she did. So, yeah. Okay. So you fly with that, right? Well, I mean, they have those little things that people make where they shove the bags in. I've seen people where you open up a drawer and the bags just, you know, blouse out. I'm like, yeah. okay, people, mm -hmm. yeah. But if I do have plastic bags, I will fold them. Mm -hmm. you will I will fold, fold them. them and put them. Yeah, I fold them and they're in a reusable bag. Yeah, I don't yes. get that neat and tidy with them, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so the last segment on two of a kind and. This is a good one. I wanted to see what you were going to say on this one. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go, good people. Okay. Who do you prefer to be around out of the two? A person with bad breath or a person who smells sweaty? So you got to you gotta make a choice. You could be around one of them all day. Maybe you work with them or whatever. <laughs> and one mm -hmm. got that charge. You know how that bread be charging like a bull? You know, it's like that. Right. Or you got the person so that smell like a bull. So this is going to be an easy one for me anyway. Okay. I'm going to have to choose. If I had to choose one of the two, it will definitely have to be the person who smells sweaty because that's something, I mean, you know, you stand down when from them, maybe you won't get it as much or, you know, that's maybe, you know, some people have bad BO, but bad breath. I'm not here for you, for your breath getting to me before you do. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 The H's. Mm -mm. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not. I need my nose hairs. So, well, well here's the, the thing. Breath over okay. there. Okay, let me. My choice uh, depends on the person I'm with. Okay, so if I'm with a chick and we're dating, then I probably prefer her body to smell. You know, because if I'm gonna tongue kiss her or something, man, that bread. No, I can't do that. But if it's just <laughs> a dude, like a coworker, I prefer his mm -hmm. breath to smell because first of all, I ain't in your grill, bro. Because you a dude, so I'm not right by you like that. Point taken, point taken. Yeah, and hopefully 
they'll get that back wind of their own breath and do something about it. <laughs> See, a dentist, get a tooth pulled, brush your teeth, whatever they got to do. But, but, but I do admit, a person that smells bad, oh my God. Ooh, man, when you charging like a bull, whether it's your breath or your body odor, you know, either, either one would be bad to be around. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. They're, that was a hard one. But I mean, of the two, you know, I would have to do the body odor just because that's something you just kind of, not to say you'll get used to it, but like I can see, like I would not, in conversation, I know that I would have my face screwed up if it was their breath. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Uh, and I would just be looking at them shaking my head like, you nasty. But <laughs> their body, if it's a sweaty, yeah, a sweaty smell, not a funky smell. Yeah. You said a sweaty smell. <laughs> a sweaty smell. Well, sweat, okay, sweat yeah. funk, you know. <laughs> I kind of put them yeah, all, well, you know, put them together. Yeah. But but, but you know okay. what? The per, but the person with bad breath, you ever hear when people say, oh, just give them a mint. How do you give somebody a mint with bad breath? Like how do, without offending them is what I'm saying. Listen, I've seen people, when you pull it out and you take one and you offer it and they do that hand motion. Oh, no. Like, oh, yes. Yes. Here. <laughs> you definitely. <laughs> you know, people should realize that whenever they're offered a mint yeah. to take it because it is clear that it's a sign that you're not smelling two together. But don't don't you find it funny that people don't know their own bodies? Because let me tell you, I could tell when my bread is stank because this is what I do. The way I know if my <laughs> bread is stank, I put my hand mm -hmm. over it and I'll kind of blow in it or talk in it. And if it comes back and it ricochets back in my nose, I'm like, okay, bro. <laughs> Find the nearest <laughs> Listerine bottle you can, you know, and that's what I don't understand, oh people. You, you should know yourself, especially if you like yeah, 20, well, 30, 40, whatever. You should know yourself by now. What about the onion smelling people? Like, you don't smell that. You're not cutting onions. Mm -hmm. Why does it smell like onions? So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And and that's that's hard to get rid of that onion smell. You know, you could try. I try <laughs> scoping all it. it. It's tough. It, it really time wears that down. <laughs> It's what? like when you get when it's that Christmas exchange that that office gift exchange and you get a can of tomato soup you're like wait a minute <laughs> like, nah. that's for you to soak your tail in how about that exactly exactly listen to full episodes of Power Hits 101 giving you the latest in R and B hip hop and cool conversation tune in on the Mixcloud app or at mixcloud.com.